To answer that question, I got to work building a pair of boxes from Half Inch MDF. One of those will be short, but eight inches deep, and the other one will be tall, but just four inches deep. Even though they have different dimensions, they're gonna be the same internal volume, or at least as close as I can make it. And I'll be using the same driver in both boxes, and that driver is the one I talked about in a recent video, it's a coax. And I wanna make sure that the driver is in the same location on both baffles, so I'm using my CNC to cut those out. Now to make sure that I'm not getting any noises from the boxes, I'm gluing all the joints. The glue I'm using is polyurethane construction adhesive and I'm firing an inch and a half 18 gauge brads and I let both boxes dry overnight. And while the glue is drying, I built the crossover that I'll be using with this driver. Now this is the next day, I'm gonna start with the shallow box. I'm drilling a single hole in the back for the wire to come out so I can hook it up to the amplifier. I'm also putting all the screws in here to make sure that the driver doesn't rattle. I have the microphone set up a half a meter from the speaker and that won't change. And we can see the response, it looks pretty good. The smoothing on this is 124th and I'm not gating it. Then I swapped the driver and the crossover for the shorter box and ran the sweep again. And here's the response and right off the bat we can see that it's flatter down around 300 to 400 hertz. And if I overlay the two measurements on top of each other, we can see the difference inside that orange circle. There are a couple of possibilities to explain what that is. The first is that the sound is leaving the back of the driver cone, bouncing off the shallow back of the box and coming through the cone, reinforcing that area. Um, you know, this is the common perception with a shallow box that you're gonna get this slap back. However, the other possibility is one that's fixable, it's a standing wave. The box, not only is it shallow, it's also tall. So from the bottom to the top, kind of corresponds to that frequency there. And to test out that hypothesis, I took out the driver and I put in some rock wool. I did the short deep box first because that's where the driver already was. And I ran the sweep again. And we can see that measurement looks pretty good. Then I did the same thing with the shallow box. I put the rock wool inside and put the driver back in and ran the measurement again. And here we can see the measurement. It looks a lot better, a lot smoother. And when we overlay the other measurement from the shorter box, the deeper one, with the stuffing inside, you can see that they're very close. There's very little difference between these two measurements. So that's all well and good. The measurements show that they're very close, but you're probably saying, well, how do they sound? You're probably gonna hear that, you know, having that driver so close to the back panel like that. You're, you're gonna hear it, definitely. So I didn't do that uh, recording here in my shop because I get too much road noise in here. Instead, I took both boxes down to my listening room and I set them up down there and I recorded a track. And unfortunately, I can't use something that you might be familiar with for the music. I had to use the YouTube music that's available, but it should give you a good idea what these sound like. I recorded both with the mic 20 inches from the speaker. And I'm gonna be a little bit tricky here, and I'm not gonna say which one is which. I just want you to guess which one you think the shallow box is, A or B. 